Rode has long been a pioneer in dual clip-on wireless microphone systems, but the Wireless Pro is the first to be given a Pro designation. Why? Because the system offers versatile features that today's industry professionals are demanding, including timecode support, 32-bit float backup recording, locking lavaliers, out-of-the-box compatibility with cameras, computers, and mobile devices, plus a whole lot more. For fast run-and-gun interviews, the built-in omnidirectional mics on the two clip-on transmitters are quick to attach to talent and sound great, and the inclusion of the mag clip mounts provides for even more flexible positioning options. I'm using it right now while we check it out for this video. For a more discreet look, two lavalier mics are also included, and the locking 3.5mm connectors on these are a nice professional touch, helping to ensure they don't disconnect. The transmitters supply plug-in power, so you can use them with a wide variety of third-party lavaliers and even camera mount mics. The built-in rechargeable batteries on the transmitters and receiver will power them for up to seven hours, while the carrying case will supply two complete charges in the field. A professional wireless system must be reliable, and built-in memory on the transmitters allows each of them to record up to 40 hours of 32-bit float digital audio while simultaneously transmitting secure, encrypted data to the receiver at distances up to 853 feet. So unlike some systems that won't let you transmit and record at the same time, the Wireless Pro offers true backup audio if there's a dropout or interference on your wireless recording. What's more, with 32-bit float recordings, the gigantic dynamic range means you don't have to worry about fine adjusting your input gain. Low-level sounds can be normalized to useful levels without creating noise and artifacts, while on the other end, digitally clipped sounds can be rescued with almost miraculous ease. You can set the input levels manually or have the intelligent gain assist take care of it for you, but note that gain assist is only for the wireless levels, not the internal recorder. The Dual Channel Wireless Pro receiver outputs audio to both its digital USB-C port and its analog 3.5mm jack, and cables for Apple devices, Android devices, computers and cameras are all provided. The level can be adjusted to suit your camera, with presets at optimal levels available for select models. In addition, it also offers flexible output routing configurations. So for example, you can split the audio from each transmitter to the left and right outputs of the receiver for complete control over the individual levels in post, but alternatively, you can record the merged audio from both transmitters to each of your camera tracks. You can even record the right side at a 10 dB lower level as a safety track. It's worth noting that the 3.5mm TRRS output can function as a headphone jack when you're recording via the USB port, and can even be used as a mic input to the receiver if you're using a headset. I want to give you an idea of how the included Rode Lavalier 2 mic compares to the built-in transmitter mic, so I'm using it right now while we talk about the Pro's timecode capabilities and wrap up our little tour. Timecode is critical to working professionals as it makes it fast and easy to lock the sound and picture together by supplying a master timing reference, greatly speeding up the editing process. In the Wireless Pro, the receiver generates the master SMPTE timecode, and the transmitters, cameras, and other recording devices lock to it. There are a couple of modes for this, but mode one is going to be very popular as it sums the audio from both transmitters and outputs it only to the left side of both the 3.5mm and the USB outputs, while code shows up on the right side. Conveniently, the transmitters will receive their code wirelessly. You'll just need to enable the time code settings for the backup recordings in the Rode Central app. Modes 2 and 3 leverage the 3.5mm TRRS jack's input capabilities, allowing you to incorporate headset audio from the camera operator, while Mode 4 splits the USB output between timecode and audio and uses the 3.5mm jack for headphone monitoring only. Finally, you can use Mode 5 to jam sync devices with dedicated timecode inputs. This mode outputs timecode to both sides of the receiver's output, so you can temporarily connect it to your camera's timecode input, then jam sync the camera's code generator to lock to the incoming signal. You can jam sync as many devices as you need to, but eventually they will begin to drift, so Rode recommends you resync approximately every four hours or whenever you power cycle the cameras. If these sophisticated options seem like a lot to set up and keep track of, 
Don't worry, the color LCD on the receiver shows you important settings like audio levels and battery life at a glance, and it's fairly straightforward to navigate and adjust, while the easy to use Rode Central app provides complete control over settings from your computer or mobile device. Getting recorded files from the transmitters is made quick and easy with the included super speed USB cable that enables simultaneous data transfer to your computer and battery charging on the case. So hopefully that gives you some idea of the professional level feature set on the Rode Wireless Pro. Are you ready to put this powerful wireless microphone system to work making content with truly broadcast quality sound? Let us know in the comments section below. I'm Rob from B&H and I'll see you next time.